So now we're going to go through the simplicity of the business. So as we go into the simplicity of this business, we want you to duplicate. Some of you are working way too hard. It's important that you are system driven. So everything on this packet is on a CD that you have. And if you didn't get it, um, we'll get you one. But you can print this off for people as you're mentoring them. Now they will absolutely you know, freak out if you hand them this manual and just leave them there. Tell them you're only going to go through one paper, you know, or however you want to do it. Or you can take it apart and just give them one paper at a time, depending on personalities, you know. So um, this is for you. Notice that there are 20 foundational lessons. We are going to be the Phil Jacksons of our group. You are all going to mentor 20 lessons. Michael and I have been working on a a, with a programmer and we are creating a training platform for you so these lessons will be up on a site where you can say why don't you look through lesson number one and then we'll talk about it on Wednesday so that way that's teaching the lesson for you and it frees your time up to be mentoring several people at the same time will that be helpful yeah, so uh, I think we wanted to see if we can help you um, as much as we can by having things up. And so Michael will be talking a little bit about the platform next week. It's not running right now. You have to work the kinks out of it, of course. Um, but that is coming very soon for you. The 20 lessons are just foundational lessons. This does not include all of the lessons. So it's not that you're not going to to benefit from other types of training. We just want to be the Phil Jackson and get some of the basics down. And a lot of these are just documents. They're not, any, they're not at a formal lesson. And then I want you to find on page five, I want you to look at page five. Okay, simplicity of this business. Many of you overcomplicate. If somebody comes to you and says, how do you do this business? You scare them away. So, if I walk up to you and say, how do you do this business? <coughs> what I do is I take this sheet of paper right here, this document, and it says, oh, people give recommendations every day for movies or books or restaurants. <coughs> they just don't get paid for those. Young Living pays you for your recommendations. The business is as easy as one, two, three. We just use the product so we experience the benefits. We recommend the benefits we truly believe in. And then we invite you to set up an account or come to a class. And that's it. That's the business. <laughs> See how simple that is? Do you feel, do you, are you left feeling, well, I can do that. That's how you want your people leaving you. Every time you talk to them, I could do that. So make sure that you keep it simple and system driven. The next thing people want to know about, well, what do I have to do next? And so I say, well, you know, we go on a little journey in this business. First, we just learn about the product and people jump right in and in a few days, they've experienced their whole everyday oil kit and then they might want to try the Ningxia Red. So we take a little journey and learn about the products. Then by the time the next month comes along, people are really thinking, oh, I love these products. I'm going to start adopting some of them for my lifestyle. And so we start exploring the oil-infused nutrition. And then we give recommendations right away because within the first couple of days you've had a great experience, then it's easy to recommend that same peppermint to somebody else, right? And then if you choose and you are really wanting to build, you can build a small business or you can build a large business. But we can walk you through some basic 20 lessons so that you can build a foundational knowledge so you can grow your business. How does that sound? How do you feel right now? Hey. What? Hey. I can do that, right? Don't overwhelm them. That's all they might want to know that first day. Right, Nicole? <laughs> 
So then just leave them. Lead comes later. That's when you start really getting serious about your business. Then you might want to look at like a workshop like this. This is leading. You're going to be leading and mentoring others. Does that make sense? Now as we get into those how-to skills, I just want to give you a little bit of a warning. Remember in the beginning I said the vision is the most important lesson to start with? Sometimes we have to give people a little bit of the how-to first so they kind of know what the business is and then you have to go back to the personal vision. But tonight we started with the personal vision because that's the most important key. If people start with the how-to too soon, guess what? They throttle back their vision because they go back in the reality. That's what I did is you go stake right in the reality and you don't want to go any further. So make sure that you open the possibilities first and let your mind go. Now, once you have those written down, now you can go, okay, now we're going to get serious and do the how to. Don't set business goals and the how to first and then put your life around that. Instead, you want to set your lifestyle goals first, your possibilities, and then create a business that supports that lifestyle. You design your life first, then we'll help you with the how to get there. And that's what we're doing tonight. So what is this business? Business is defined as making someone's life better. So I can be very, very comfortable and proud and happy and I don't feel weird or anything because my intention if I talk to somebody is I want to make their life better. This is a teaching and training business. Network marketing, yes, is sort of, it is sales, but not really because I set out to educate and train and people make their own choices. I'm not going to sell you anything that you don't need. This is all about that person. Does that make sense? We're a teaching and training company. We do not go and do sales just to make a buck. I want to make sure that everything that person has really does matter in their life. And it's going to do. So everybody's different. They don't need every single product, right? They need what fits for them. Make someone's life better. How do you do this business? We just went through that, the journey. There's only basically three income producing activities that you should have in your calendar. You're either going to be sharing your business and inviting people to, to take a look at the business one, two, three, or you're going to be sharing the products and inviting them to try them or come to a class. And then the thing that you're going to do for both is follow up. You're going to help them along the way. There's a business checklist that you have in your packet. Go through that and it's not that you have to have everything done that day. You can check it off as you go along. If you treat it like a business, you will be paid like a business. If you treat it like a hobby, you're going to be paid like a hobby. When you realize what you hold with Young Living, that mindset starts to change. What happens is you come into it with such a low cost of entry that the respect isn't there for a million dollar business. But I guarantee you, if you went out and bought a franchise for a $500,000 investment, you're gonna show up to work, right? You're gonna be learning those skills and you're gonna be learning how to run everything, right? So when you come in at $150 or whatever you came in at, realize what you have because this business outperforms franchises and it gives you the time to live your life first. When Tuta Bene went up for sale, I was so excited because it was my favorite restaurant and I ran to Michael and I said, oh, we should buy that. And he says, uh, why do we do what we're doing? <laughs> for the time freedom, right? What would happen if we bought a restaurant? You're locked into 24 seven, right? So I go, oh, <laughs> I just got so excited. <laughs> so you have the ability, but then you're going to look at putting your money in different places because you want to save that freedom to go. 
So you can just take off and go if you choose. 